Do you know what works really well as a super easy, super lazy, engaging piece of content on Instagram? Twitter quote screenshots shared as graphics in your Instagram posts or even as Instagram reels with videos in the background. These work really well for sharing quick, important messages or quotes with your audience that you can always elaborate on in more detail in the caption. And I personally love seeing them and I love creating them as well. But what happens if you don't have Twitter? I personally haven't used Twitter since probably 2017. So when I saw that these types of content were performing quite well on Instagram, I was like, how am I going to screenshot these tweets when I'm not actually sharing any tweets? Luckily, you can fake these really easily all using Canva. So if we head into Canva here, I'm going to show you how to do this with the free version of Canva, although I do have the pro version. You can do all of this if you are just using it for free. And I will leave a link in the video description. Um, if you haven't got a Canva account already, I would highly suggest you get one. And all we need to do is type in Twitter quote into their template search bar and it will come up with actually hundreds of templates for us to choose from. However, you will notice as you scroll through that the ones with this little crown in the bottom right corner are for pro Canva users. So that is if you are paying for Canva. Um, but as we scroll through, you can see that some don't have that. And this gives us lots of options for different Twitter quote designs. Maybe you just want to create a really simple graphic for a square Instagram photo. You can open up this template here. You could actually click on the background and change the color to whatever you like. Just type in your color codes here or choose a color swatch. You can also head over to the uploads area on the left hand side and upload your own photo that you can click and drag across to slot into that photo section there. Realistically, you probably wanna make this photo the same as what you have as your Instagram account profile photo, just so that things are consistent. All you needed to do is just drag it over there. Then you just double click on any of the text that you want to change and just type in your account details. I'm gonna do mine as my uh, Instagram account because I don't have a Twitter account. Um, and then just obviously paste in the text that you want to create a quote about. And you can highlight all of the elements here just by clicking and dragging over them and click and drag to realign it. If you need to recenter it, there are these helpful pink guidelines to help you. And then you have a simple Twitter quote graphic that you can then click share and go to download. Keep all of those settings the same and just click download. That will save it to your computer. You can also do this on the Canva mobile app as well if you don't wanna to have to um, exchange files and images and graphics between your computer and your phone. But if we head back to the templates area, as you scroll through, you can see there are also different sizes and shapes and designs that you can go for here as well. Maybe you want to share a Twitter quote to your story. You could use this template where it's in this nine by 16 ratio, which is specifically for your stories. This is a slightly different uh, graphic design where we've got like the number of comments uh, have been faked on here as well and shares. But if you scroll through the templates, you can probably find one that suits you or just select the elements that you don't like and click the trash can icon to delete them if you don't want those there. So if you were to just download this, this would download a static PNG image file. Let's say you want to actually create this as a reel, which I've done quite a few times personally on my own Instagram and they've worked really well. But obviously because reels are videos, we want the background to actually be a video and not an image. What you can do is either in the upload section, upload your own video clip and then just click and drag this over the background or just head down to the bottom left in Canva and choose the videos option here. And this is where you're gonna come up with loads of different stock videos that you can use as your background. So I can see a few of my recently used ones, but you can search for any topic here and it will come up with a range of different stock videos that you can use. And again, some of them do have that little pro icon next to them. This one, for example, doesn't though. So I'm just gonna click and drag that over the background, let it drop in. And now that has created a moving video background that's gonna work better as an Instagram reel. I'm actually gonna select this box um, element as well and change the transparency to 100% uh, just so that you can definitely easily see the text. And if you wanted to then download this to upload it as a reel, all you need to do is go to share, download, and make sure that it's set to download an MP4 video and the quality is at 1080. Click download. This will download it to your computer. But again, you can do all of this from your phone as well. And there you have a faked Twitter quote, reel and Instagram post for you to use. If you like this tip, be sure to leave this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more business, marketing, content creation and productivity content here on YouTube. I share new videos every single week. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you again very soon.